Hello, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to fix your Apple Pay not working on iPhone 17. The first and most important part is to restart your iPhone. Uh, so in order to do it, just press and hold on power and either of the volume buttons, then slide to power off and wait for half a minute, up to half a minute, and after that time, we're gonna start pressing and holding on the button, on the side button itself, to turn the phone on. So I think we can already do it. Yeah, the Apple logo has shown up, so let's wait. It's gonna take a little while, so I'm gonna get back to when it's done. Now the iPhone's on. See if it's working. If it's not working, if, uh, if Apple Pay doesn't work, you can go to settings. Now go to general, go to software update and see if there is any update available. If there is an update available, then you may want to install it. It may fix some common issues. If that didn't help, you may need to remove and re-add your card on in your Apple Pay. So in order to do it, go to the card, then click on the three dots, go to card details. It may tell you something here that you may need to know in order to fix the card. Maybe it'll just tell you that the card is inactive. You may need to actually contact with your um, card issuer, like your bank most likely, but you can also remove the card and re-add it by clicking on plus and going through the whole process. By the way, there's a video and about adding the card and about remo removing the card, so you can watch that if you like. Um, now, if that didn't help, then you may need to actually check your settings. Um, so, um, Make sure that in settings, if you go to um, Wallet and Apple Pay, that um, everything here is set up correctly. So I'm just gonna make sure. If we go here in Apple Pay defaults, make sure that double click side button is enabled so you can actually authenticate with your, um, with your Face ID. Make sure that you have a Face ID or passcode set on your iPhone. So if you go to here, then make sure that you either have a passcode here or that you have passcode and Face ID. And also mm, make sure that in a uh, wallet to Apple Pay, in a wallet, no, uh, I don't really think it's an option anymore. I think yeah, it used to be it used to be a uh, an option here, um, but yeah, never mind. So uh, yeah, I think that after those settings, it's worth making sure uh, that um, you verify with your bank whether your card was locked or stuff like that, because it also may happen sometimes. And um, also you may want to check for Apple service outages. It's really rare that it happens, but you actually may want to go there. So let's go to apple.com. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go like that. Then um, slash support. Slash uh, system status, I believe, but I may be wrong. Let's go there. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. That's that's the website. It's slash uh, apple apple.com slash support slash system status. And now it says all services are operating normally, but if there was some problem with uh, like um, Apple Pay, then it will display underneath with um, either a red square, I think, or or a yellow one, and it'll tell you what the problem is with it. 
and if it still has a problem you may need to actually contact Apple support or your bank support as I said and I hope that this video was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one